Welcome back to Life is Strange. So at the moment, I need to go find Chloe some bottles to shoot. So, let's go do that. So that junkyard shouldn't be too hard to find some bottles, I imagine. America's favorite pastime seems to be littering. There's probably some picture opportunities around here, too. I don't want to go that way. Oh, <laughs> I was about to walk away from it, and then I just realized, oh, wait, you know what I can do? I can glue the bottle pieces back together with my super glue super power. Oh, wait, no. Do I need something to grab it, or is she going to break it every time? She's going to break it every time, isn't she? Okay, yeah. I think I need something to grab it or something. Hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Maybe I can use this to reach the bottle. Bottle number one. Four more to go. I see a bird up there. Right on top of the bus. What's really, really strange about the bird, though, is that it seems to be two-dimensional. Yeah, that, that bird is two-dimensional. That is really strange. The one just on the top of the roof of the bus, all the way on the left side of the roof. I guess they couldn't spare the polygon count. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Could I make the train go backwards? Oh yeah. <laughs> Beyond repair. Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Boom. Only three bottles left. Something from Morin. Something about going ape? Um, yeah, so when are we supposed to go to the theaters to see all the Planet of the Apes films? Should leave around 5, I drive. Okay, it's only about 9.20 in the morning, so plenty of time. Looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Hmm. Can I take a picture of it? Something about it doesn't look right. It's like all dithered or something. It's not solid. That dough is the perfect photo op. Yeah, it's not solid. There's, there's something weird about the way it looks. I don't know if it's a rendering error or if it's supposed to be something. Wait, why aren't you going back? Wait a minute. No, stop. 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 
I think it's supposed to look like that. It's not affected by time. It's not going back. Everything else does. Even the squirrels go back. It doesn't. Hmm. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. I'm just really curious what's going on with this doe that's immune to my time-altering abilities. Yeah, look at it. It's translucent. Is it even going to show up in the picture? It didn't. Look at that. On the top right, it didn't even show up in the picture. What does that mean? No one else can see it. Only I can see it. Even the camera can't see it. How come I can see it? It's like it's out of place. In terms of time, like it doesn't belong in this time or something? Oops. That is very, very strange. Alright, back to my bottle search. Arcadia Bay sucks. This was an old-school punk shirt. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. a bonfire spot where people party around here. Should be a good, good source of, source of bottles. I don't I can want find to go it. that way. Ooh, more birds. Picture? Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. place is dangerous. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Wait a minute. Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> Convenient time for that stuff to fall down. I don't know if I want to go back that far. I can't stop, can I? Uh... Okay, that was kind of weird. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Is this like the adventure game equivalent of killing five wolves to get their wolf pelts?
So much graffiti. I don't want to go that way. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? I don't know. There's something cool about tons of junk. I don't know what it is. Alright, there's stuff on top of the boat, but let me check out in here first. Somebody's been using some tools. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. <laughs> Score between Rachel and Chloe. Damn, Rachel was way better at darts than Chloe. That kind of hurts. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Yeah, but if it was, maybe Max would be missing. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek. One more bottle to go. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. <laughs> DJ Irish Bacon. So it's from before, right before she disappeared. That's very suspicious, obviously. The Vortex, the Vortex Club itself is very suspicious. It just seems to be everywhere. And I don't really know much about it. Except that it seems like pretty much everybody who's in the club is a douchebag, from what I can tell. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Yeah, I was. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Alright, I got a text message from Kate, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. What'd she say? Um... I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. That's not... that's so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Uh, too late, I guess. But thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend, and you delivered. On her side. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, it sounds like she's not doing too bad, which is good, because I was really worried about her. Although, you know, people are good at hiding uh, hiding stuff, so you never know, really. Okay, I think that's it. Nothing on the ceiling. Nope. Alright, last one is on the boat. Question is, how do we get up there? I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. All right, so I just need to find a, f uh, a large tower to go up in and then jump off into a hay bale. And then I should be good. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. What the hell? Aw, oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. 
<laughs> what do you mean, poor thing? Creepy thing. Freaking burnt doll? Ew. It's creepy as hell. Every car has its own tale and history. Could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Whoops! No, don't do that. I just need to get up there. Uh, oh, drug syringes. Oh, gross! So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Yeah, I remember. Um, a little while ago, I was actually walking along and I just saw a crack pipe on the ground. Uh, that is in the real world, not in the game. Kind of weird. Those shells look fresh. I wonder if somebody just like ditched it, so that if the cops were maybe showing up, they wouldn't find find the uh, the pipe on them. The Bigfoots were here. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Let's have a seat first. Look at the pretty birds. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. I really love these moments when you can just sit down and hear her thoughts. I love that they've done that so explicitly, because of course you can do this on your own. I mean, if you want to just take a look around and stare at stuff and think, you can. But the fact that you can actually make your character do that specifically, and they put in, you know, hotspots to have it happen. I don't know, there's just something really special about that. Really lovely. I feel like I'm missing a photo opportunity. Like with these birds or something, but... Man, those are some very accepting birds. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. I think this is where I first started checking, right? Yep. Alright, we're good. Alright, Chloe. Let's figure out how you're going to get stuck in the train track so I can save your life. Thanks, Max. Wait. One more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Okay, you've already failed. Show me the way, Max. <laughs> to the right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. 
<laughs> this is actually pretty cool. This is an interesting now use Max, of the, the time travel right mechanic. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Um. Hello. Shoot what the rim. I shoot? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Come on, you can't miss that, right? Oh, ricochet. Hella yes! That's actually I really dangerous. Tech? Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Hold on, hold on. What would be a good trick shot? Um... Well, Max? I have no idea. Shoot something. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! Oh, there's a squirrel in there. You guys better run for cover! Yet the bottle remains. You really want to ricochet off and Dude, hit the I bottle, need a good luck. Before I shoot. Uh, try the bumper, maybe? Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. Oh! Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! <laughs> back up, back up, Are you Hold on, Chloe. That's why you shouldn't play with guns! Hey, you want the trick Dude, shot? I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Um, alright, I'll take it. Got the bottles. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Using her powers know. too much? She bleeding Max, it? Yep. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Back to the vision. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. What if when I save Chloe, like when she accidentally shot herself and I reverse time, what if I'm not actually reversing time and there's not just one reality, but what if I'm creating a split in the time continuum and all these other realities still exist? So in other words, she did actually get shot. And maybe she died from it in a different reality. In other words, maybe there are consequences to my actions. Even if I can rewind time and make it so that those consequences don't exist in this reality, perhaps they do in others. That's a disturbing thought, so let's not think about it. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Nathan? That's Nathan, hey, isn't it? it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. 
Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Shoot him? Why would I shoot him? He's not actually trying to attack me at the moment. I mean, he's certainly threatening, but... He's a safe distance away at the moment. I mean, I could always rewind time, but then again, given that I've just barely recovered, that might be very dangerous to rewind time. I'm not gonna shoot him. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My stepshit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Yep, I'm just gonna leave it that way though. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. I guess this is where the train thing is going to happen. And yeah, why did he have her bracelet? The truth is, though, Rachel's stuff is all over the place. She really got around. Her pictures, graffiti about her, everything about her is everywhere. And it seems like Arcadia is a pretty small town, so... It doesn't really terribly surprise me that he has her bracelet. I don't know if it really means much of anything. Time to go? Suppose so? I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. 
Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Oh yeah, bad boy. I wonder if that's one of the bad boys that Chloe's mother mentioned that she fell in with. Hmm. Well, let's not be presumptuous. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Hmm. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. Okay, need a tool, don't I? Can always rewind time, or I could maybe do this. Uh, I, awesome. I don't know what I'm doing. Locked. Do I need to mess with this? I don't know. I'm. Let's just assume so. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Hurry! I can't even move it an inch. How did your foot get stuck? So this is very strange. Given that it happened right after the vision, I'm not really sure if this is entirely reality. I can definitely use this bad boy. Max! I better find a tool to cut oh. those wires. Oh, well, the train's coming! I mean, you can mess Max, up the wires please. with the crowbar, but I guess you can't really cut it. Max, Wait, was there a thing? close. Yep, it's really close. I'm just gonna rewind time here. Shit, I can't budget at all. Crowbar? Oh my god, it's really, really close. I'm gonna have to keep running, rewinding time a lot. Let's, let's, let's rewind time before she dies. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's keep going back. Looks sharp. Oh, okay, uh, what can I slice with this? Wires. Let's get all the tools. All of them. All of them. All of them. I don't even know what I'm looking for, but take everything. What am I even looking for? Oh, I could also use that to cut wires, I suppose. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Yep. 
I mean, the axe would work, but uh, not exactly the finest. Most subtle instrument. Tool. In and out, no problem. Alright, I think I have everything I need. Or pliers. I guess pliers, I suppose. To cut. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Hold on. Son of a bitch! Please get me out of here. Which wire to cut? Red one? What am I even doing? Now that's the right cable. Okay. Oh, and my crowbar is stuck in midair. Um, interesting. Yes, I did it. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn, that was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. That was very awkward. Right afterwards, she was like, everything's perfectly fine, as if she hadn't just almost died. You would have so much adrenaline going through you. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. 